I will be talking about an organization uh, that we've started this year called uh, Children's Hope Forest. Um, I'm visiting here from Shanghai in China, and I have a lot of slides, so I'll go through these pretty quickly. Uh, when we started our company five years ago, on the second day of operation, the security police ordered us to shut down. So I thought I'd do this as a little case. What would you do? There's a bunch of options there, and I'll give you the answer at the end. Um, what we're focused on is autism in Chinese, Zibizhen, uh, and uh, the literal translation in Chinese is the lonely disease. If you know children with autism, they're oftentimes very withdrawn. They don't communicate. They don't relate to people. They have disruptive behaviors, um, and it's a very challenging, difficult situation to deal with. In China, there's approximately 2 million children with autism, and there's less than 10 schools in the whole country focused on autism. They are not aware of all the techniques that we use in the United States and other Western countries. Um, and so what happens is uh, schools that exist, families don't have techniques to deal with those children. Uh, they don't get any response. They don't get any results. And those families become very isolated. The children can't go to school. The family can't participate in social activities. They can't be with friends and family. And they don't feel there's any hope. It's a very desperate situation for those families. So when, we, uh, when I started thinking about this, I wanted to think about how could we impact hundreds of thousands of families. Uh, some of the solutions out there, uh, the one I'll just pick on is the Harvard solution. And that's where an expert flies in gives a few talks and leaves, and nothing happens. The Chinese can't take those ideas and put those into practice because they're so culturally different from what they're used to. So, and in China, it's almost impossible to register an NGO. There's no bureaucratic structure to start a nonprofit. So I thought, let's do the Stanford solution, which is social entrepreneurship, start a company, we started focusing on foreigners that live in Shanghai that have a child with special needs. They have lots of money to spend. We can prove that the techniques work. We can train Chinese staff, and we can import techniques from the West. And then we started uh, targeting affluent Chinese families, uh, and our hope is to start autism centers in multiple cities and make those training centers and uh, provide web resources. My story is uh, 1985, Stanford uh, grad, poet. Uh, in 2003, I moved to China with my wife, who has a PhD in uh, speech and language pathology. 2005, we said, let's start a school for children with special needs. And many people said it would be absolutely impossible to do. This year, uh, we have 20 experts who are foreigners working in our organization full time on the ground in Shanghai. And we have trained 20 Chinese staff in our techniques. And, uh, and that's why this year we created Hope Forest, a Chinese institution. The top picture, by the way, is when we started in uh, 2005. The bottom picture is from our program uh, uh, for Chinese children. So li who lives in Hope Forest? We do. Uh, our goal is to start 15 schools and training centers across China, provide extensive web resources, and create a new category of care worker. If uh, I can just have a few more seconds. The four young women in the top picture are workers from an orphanage in Hangzhou. They spent a month with us, uh, free training, and they went back and started an experimental classroom at their orphanage. And the woman in the bottom picture uh, was a flower vendor on the streets in Shanghai. She became our nanny for a while, and now she works full time in our school, an amazing person working with kids with autism. So you can live in Hope Forest, too, by supporting our efforts, uh, donations, investment. And if you know experts that want to live in China, we're always looking for them. So what would you do? Would you do all these things? No. You offer people lunch. You take them to dinner. You build relationships. And in China, we have a saying, anything is possible. Everything is difficult. If you're persistent and work hard at it and have a vision, you can get it done even when people tell you it's impossible. So thank you.